Did you know that cancer patients undergoing radiotherapy can suffer from a number of side effects? Did you also know that this is simply because doctors right now are not equipped with the right tool to determine where exactly radiation needs to be given? Before treating a cancer patient with radiation, doctors use something called an X-ray detector to predict how much dose needs to be given. The current detectors used in hospitals are flat and rigid, but the human body, as we all know, isn't exactly flat. So doctors have a hard time to accurately estimate how much dose needs to be given to a particular tumor. What if I told you that I now have a solution for this problem? I'm Hashini Tirimana from University of Surrey. During my PhD, based on the tools developed by nanotechnology, I have engineered a solid X-ray detector which is thinner than a paper. It's lightweight, flexible, and it's almost like a cling film that you buy off from supermarkets. So now think of the complex and wonderful shapes of the human body, like a breast, arm, or even a limb. Because my detector is like a cling film, now the doctor can accurately place it on top of the patient's body and know how much of dose needs to be given and where. What's even more beautiful about this detector is that it's made from a nanomaterial ink. Just like you print a document on a piece of paper, this detector can be made by using the ink to be printed on top of any surface up to any size. Once the material is being printed, the electrical contacts have to be made and the detector is ready to be used. Not only for cancer therapy, these X-ray detectors can be also used for imaging of fractures. Think of someone who is in a remote location and not having quick access to a hospital, like a soldier in a war zone. In case of a fracture, they'd have to wait hours or maybe even days to be assessed, all because the current detectors are bulky, expensive and need loads of power to work. However, my detector isn't restricted by any of this. It's lightweight, cheap and even works with a couple of wristwatch batteries. So now think of the possibilities this opens up. The concept of portable X-ray imaging system is no longer a dream. So next time you go to a dentist and need a dental X-ray, think of this. Why can't this detector that dentist trying to put in be more flexible like Hashimi's rather than being so bulky? Wouldn't you love that? So, a new generation of X-ray detectors has begun and my PhD is just the start and I'm excited about it. Are you? Thank you very much.